Hi, my name is uh, Soren and uh, welcome to D3P. Today and well in fact it's something I promised uh, some viewers that I want to make a calibration of the extruder on a 3D printer. And today I will show three ways to do this. One is on a Dremel. On the Dremel you cannot uh, modify the firmware at all. So we will have to use uh, uh, extrusion multiplier in the slicer. On the Ender it has also a firmware that's not possible to, to flash uh, at all and if you use the settings via the uh, panel on the Ender it will go back to, to factory settings uh, for the next print. So that's a little bit too much work uh, to do every time so I will show you a way how to do that. And last but not least the Ender 4, the Ender 4 has got, uh, I have flashed the uh, MK4 Duo into the Ender 4 and here it's uh, possible to modify the firmware. So this is a three scenarios we want uh, to look at today. So uh, let's get started. First thing you of course need to find is a ruler and in this case it's 30 centimeters, a marker and this should be a color that you can see on your filament. In my case I have a gray filament I want to use. So that's the first thing we need to do uh, and find and then uh, you connect your printer to the USB port and I will do that now and it's ready then when we turn it on later. So what we want to do now is to, to take a look at, at, uh, at the filament, in this case I use PLA, who is going into the extruder here. And I will put a mark on 100 millimeters and then I do exactly from, so I can measure from the, the correct size next time, so I just drag out here and keep it straight and I put a mark on 100 millimeter. You can use whatever you want, 200 millimeters. You can also extrude um, a different amount. I want to extrude 50 millimeters for, for this test. So now I have put my, my mark on and uh, it's time to turn on the Ender 2 and go to the PC. At the computer you open your slicer software, it can be any software, it just uh, needs to have the possibility to connect to the printer. And I will use Repetier Host and I already uh, connect it. At Repetier Host there is a function or a tab called manual control and here I can uh, send some values. I could, as an example, write M501. And in this case, I get some information here in the bottom. Let me make the window bigger. And the information I'm looking for is a command called M92. Let me see if I can find it. It should be here. Here is the M92 and this is uh, the factory settings in the Ender 2 and if you remember it was not uh, possible to, to change this value um, uh, uh, on the Ender 2. And as we can see the E is the E steps uh, uh, millimeters per, per minute and it is the factory settings of E93. So we write that down as well. So at uh, the panel here, you have uh, the function to extrude 50 millimeters at once and we put a mark at uh, 100, but before we do that, we will put the temperature to the 
filament temperature that you normally have. That was wrong. It was uh, down here. And uh, in my case, this is PLA, and I have uh, uh, 212 degrees on this PLA I'm using here. Before that, you of course need to activate the extruder so it will start to heat up and uh, let's uh, wait for that. In the dark. So we are close to the temperature now and it will in a few seconds be at 200 and 12 degrees so and the different slices have a different look but uh, here is mainly how you uh, can move the x and the y axis and this is a set axis uh, up and down and here as you can see there is a icon of an extruder and if you use this one and it's minus, of course you uh, retract the filament, it's not it's taken away from the nozzle, but with these arrow keys here, uh, arrow keys, you will have uh, the possibility to choose. So I'm on temperature now, 212.5 uh, degrees, so I push the uh, 50 millimeter and then we go back to the computer, uh, to the printer and measure uh, how much the filament is, is left to our mark. At the printer again, we will measure how much is left of the 100 millimeter where we extruded 50 millimeters, and this is exactly 40. Let me see, let me be sure. 47 millimeters is left, so we have extruded uh, a, a little bit too much. So 47 millimeters we memorize that and go back to the computer so for the enter we had the following values the e steps in the firmware was e93 we put a mark to uh, 100 millimeters with our ruler and we extruded 50 millimeters and the mark uh, uh, what was the filament that was left of the 100 millimeters was 47 millimeters so if you go to I have made a small um, um, uh, how sorry, calculation uh, uh, page that you can use for this and also for the X Y and uh, set calibration here is also a video uh, that shows you how to do that but right now the current extrusion multiplier or flow rate was 93. That was what we had as a standard in the ender. The millimeters to mark was 100 millimeter. We extruded 50 millimeter and the mark afterwards was 47 millimeter. So this gives us a new value that says 53 and this means that we need to modify our firmware in some way to 87.74. That's a new E-step value for the Ender 2. And the way to do that is to go into a slicer and this time I will use Simplify 3D. I will just fire it up. Here we go. And if I go into my Ender 2 and I go to um, Edit Process, I will have to add a M92 command to uh, to the script. And I had it here. And the M M92 also handles the correction of the X, Y, and the Z axis. If you remember, we had a set value f on 400, and you can see here that's my values. But right here now, we need to enter the, I think it was 87, comma uh, 75, yeah? So this is the correct amount to extrude exactly 50 
millimeters of um, of uh, filament on the end. So what what is happening now? So when when you produce your G code through uh, Simplify or whatever, the compiler will look into your starting script and all the other scripts, uh, uh, for instance, as well. And it will look up and say, okay, M92, that means I will have used this current values here for this project, and it will add this to the G code, and that will overwrite the factory settings. As simple as that. So, what about the Dremel then? Well, the Dremel is a, is a different case because I have no possibility to to add an M92 command. The Dremel would simply don't understand it. So there we go to the uh, extrusion uh, uh, multiplier, and that is the first tab here in 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 Simplify 3D. And you can see here the extrusion multiplier is one. So what I simply do now is that I go to uh, this current extrusion multiplier and I put it to one. Bingo. Now it says it should be 0 0.94. So that's what I enter into my multiplier. 0.94, that would be my Dremel um, uh, settings here. The next thing was matter in fact if you have flashed the memory with, with any kind of uh, wider a little bit wider here get it into the picture there we go so you have the uh, configuration overall, I think I remember it was there, and it should be in this file around 2-300 something. X.4, 400, I, in this case I put in uh, 145.7, so <laughs> that's a, a, another value. But in this case, the default axis steps per, per unit should right here be um, ah sorry it's for the end of four yeah should be in this case then uh, eighty seven point seven five comma comma seven five so that would be the the correct value for the end of four if the result would be the same as on the end of two and then you flash the new software you upload it to your printer and the settings are there all time. Of course, if you don't want to do that, you can use the same you can use the same method as we did on on the Dremel. So you could matter in fact uh, enter in the beginner script. I did it here. You see I changed it here to a 99. So the 145 is 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 totally wrong. I don't know why it's there. But I changed it here, and uh, and you can do it like that as well. And the real, the real, um, I know the enter has uh, E98 as factory settings, and it should be E99. That's what I measured uh, um, on 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 the enter four. So so this is how you calibrate your extruder on in three different ways and uh, it's not really difficult but it really makes good sense to calibrate the extruder, calibrate the X, uh, the Y and the X and, and, uh, and the Z axis as well because otherwise if you build multiple parts it would not fit uh, very good together. So uh, take your time and do that, that's only a, a one time uh, thing to do and you will be much more happy printing. Thank you for today. See you soon again. Bye bye.